Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some products from the brand called Glam Girls. Now I picked up some foundation. I picked up a HD powder foundation and I picked up some other stuff. So I'm just gonna get on with that. Um, so yeah, I found these guys I think on Flipkart and then I did some research and I saw that most of their products had pretty decent reviews and I decided to try them out for myself. So I went onto their website and I also went on to like Nika.com and stuff like that to you know find these products. There's one thing that I found a bit challenging. When you go onto the website, a lot of the shade numbers are mentioned in like say for example with the liquid foundation, they all the shades are numbered as LP and then the number. But when you go onto a website like Nika or you go onto a website like Amazon or Flip Flipkart, then uh, the foundation is actually named like you know sand beige or porcelain, and you could, and there's no other description apart from that. So I don't know whether, say for example, if I'm buying LP24, whether that's the same as sand beige or whether sand beige is you know and vice versa. So that was something that I found a bit challenging to kind of figure out in terms of the shade range they, they these guys do have a wide uh, selection of shades for uh, say from really fair to extremely deep skin tone so that's really good now I picked up the shade um, what shade is this I picked up the shade LF24 and here it says beige natural on the bottle but not on the website and this turned out to be a little dark for me uh, but I I, I did use it. I'm not wearing it right now. This makeup is completely like I've not used any of the products on my face, but I have tested these out before. Um, so yeah, so the coverage is really great. The finish is excellent, but this just wasn't the shade right shade for me. This kind of oxidized a little bit on my face and was a little bit on the grayer side for me. Uh, and I did find that the packaging was really nice it comes in like a glass bottle you get um, I'm assuming you get about 30 ml of product yes you get 30 ml of product here and it comes with this uh, plastic cap which has the uh, branding on it and the plastic cap is not really like sturdy in the sense that it keeps popping off on its own and it is a pump bottle so that's really good uh, the next thing that I have is the HD powder foundation oil control SPF 15 now This is the packaging it's in a plastic box and It has the product inside and You have like a little mirror with the sponge applicator on the inside, which is quite nice I do feel like this brand is a bit overpriced for the kind of packaging and also sometimes the quality like i paid i think this retails for a thousand bucks i don't think this is worth a thousand bucks um i uh this this shade is the shade number two and i did feel like it was dark on my skin again um it does have a very illuminating finish um and i kind of used it as a bronzer and it looked really nice as a bronzer on my skin I'm just going to try and give you guys a swatch of it on the back of my hand. So you can see that it's got really good coverage in the sense that even if you use it as a, it says it's a powder foundation. So it seems like it works as that. Or you can use it as a setting powder for or on top of the foundation that you get. Um, I really liked using it as a bronzer. It made me look really airbrushed and you know, the bronzer looked really lovely and very luminous. So you can try this out, you do get uh, 8 grams of product which is good and then the next thing I have uh, is, sorry, uh, I have a blush in the shade SBL06 and I actually picked this up on Amazon so it wasn't in that shade name, I think it was Fleur Rose or something like that. So this is like a kind of pinky peachy sort of blush and it's looking really bright on the camera right now but it's got a sheen to it and it's very pigmented and it's very luminous luminous so you can see that on the finger itself that it's really glowy and bright so this is a really lovely foundation uh, 
sorry blush and it does i don't know if it yeah it also comes with a little brush applicator and a mirror on the inside and this is a plastic container so a lot of these products you know come in like a plasticky sort of kind of feels a bit cheap to me to be honest this is the swatch of the blush it's really beautiful goes on the skin very very beautifully blends out like a dream if you're someone who's really oily you want to go on with a light hand because any products that have a sheen to them will make you look oilier so if you're going to use a product that's really shiny and you're already someone who has oily skin make sure that you mattify the parameters of your face and leave just the points that you want highlighted you know as they are then the next thing that i picked up was the setting powder from glam girls and this is in the shade lp02 it's a loose powder it comes in a little container like this and you do get a velour sponge and it has a sifter on the inside now this shade um i would say is kind of cool i think it's kind of cool tone because it looks kind of gray it's not very yellow and it's not orange so it's more like a biscuit sort of neutral sort of tone going on there the powder is excellent it's an excellent excellent setting powder i actually mixed a little of this product today with my makeup revolution banana powder because the makeup revolution banana powder is a little more yellow for my skin so i mixed those two together and i've used them to kind of set my face and bake today and uh, it is i really like this i think from all the products that i've got this is the best one that i have here and uh, extremely finely milled and it'll keep you matte all day long so you can go and check that out next thing that i have i have uh, i have this eyeshadow it's called the diamond eyeshadow and it's in the shade DE26 it comes in a little plastic container like that just just open that so it's this um, sort of greeny gold shade and i cannot have very high hopes for this but personally i even though this is very smooth to touch and it is really pigmented to swatch i just didn't like the way it wore on the eyes i found that it was very chunky and yeah i just felt like it was kind of chunky i don't know that's all i just felt like it is a very thick eyeshadow so um, i'm gonna give it another try maybe i've only really used it once or twice but i want to you know keep an open mind and try and use it a little more often and see if i can make it work so it's i wouldn't say it's the best thing and even though it says that it's a diamond eyeshadow it's got you know a little bit of glitter going on in there and uh, yeah looks like it's more of a satin finish than a kind of sparkly diamond you know finish um yeah and the last thing that i have with me uh, is this glam girls i think it's called the glam girls multi purpose brush and the number of the brush is g14 it comes with a little uh, i don't know what these are called but it's like a sleeve for the brush and it has this really nice indentation all around so that it's really nice to hold the brush like that and use it now i love this brush it just i just love the shape of it it's extremely soft the grip is great just overall the the overall proportions of it are really great to use and i've used the i use this for the blush and the um the foundation powder as my bronzer i just love how much it's just perfect you know it's one of those few brushes that pick up just the right amount of product and doesn't leave anything on blotchy so i really 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 like this so you guys can check this out if there was anything that i would they highly recommend from the entire range it would be the setting powder and the brush so i hope you like this review and thank you for watching see you guys